Hey guys, so today I want to take a quick little look at the Samsung themes that is available and I'm just going to enable some featured themes here, the top themes, so you can kind of get a general idea of what you can expect with the Galaxy S8. So I'm inside of the Samsung themes section over here. First you have wallpapers, you have themes, you have icons and you do have another section here for... Um, uh, always on display so you can also change that I might do that in a, a next video because that looks pretty cool at that you can also change the icons I'm probably gonna do a separate video on that and then you have the thing I want to show in this video which is the general theme uh, section so let's just go to the top section and let's see what you can expect it, it, are these themes for through for free I think most of them are but they probably are some that cost money. This one, for example, 1 million downloads, 26 megabytes. Let's try it out. And it looks like it's some sort of a Christmas theme almost. And I like how Samsung's, uh, Samsung's uh, themes don't just change the UI, but also the UI of apps. So it's very, very nice. I sort of feel that uh, with the uh, with the um, Sony phones, usually they just change the uh, uh, the, uh, the 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 colors mostly, so that's a little bit boring. So after you download it, I think you have to install it as well. You hit you gotta hit apply. So I'm gonna do that right now. It's gonna apply the theme winter snow. Let's see how that one looks. It's quite impressive how 1 million have downloaded it on a new Samsung phone. Okay, so it is enabled in here. Mm, I'm not sure if they have changed these buttons down here. It, they might have been. Uh, if I you see here on the, um, if I go down here, yes, very, very nice. They have kind of changed the user interface in here. Oh, wow, this is cool how in the settings app, they changed the, uh, the background colors there, which is very, very cool. I'm also going to see how it looks inside of so also how it looks inside of the multitasking page is they've kind of changed the uh, the background let's see if you hold in the power turn off button it still looks the same but still with with that uh, blur effect uh, on the lock screen oh wow that looks nice so they have changed the icons down here also uh, which definitely is, I think, is cool. Let's just go back in, try something else. So I'm going to go back in. I'm going to go back and uh, go back to themes. And I am going to go to top again. And we have some oriental lamp. Wow, this one looks cool. So let's just try that one. And this one is only 20 megabytes. So they are for sure optimized in size there. I'm not sure if you can get exact same themes on older uh, Samsung phones because this one has the icons and the wallpaper section and the always on display themes. I'm really not sure if that's gonna be available for all of uh, Samsung's newer phones like the phones from last year and maybe two years back. I really don't know. But I do know that the theme, theme engine is web on a lot of phones. So it's going to apply this one here. Let's see how that one looks. Applying theme. Okay, nice. Okay, it's up and running and you can clearly see that it kind of creates a kind of like a cool feel to it because it changes a lot of their stock apps, how they look. And again, uh, same kind of setup in here. And again, very, very interesting colors here. If I go into phone app, it should kind of change. Yeah, for sure, they have kind of changed this button down here and the colors. And it just looks very, very nice with this kind of blur effect that Samsung is going with. So you can definitely experiment around with uh, that to see how, how you kind of like it. But Samsung really seems to be enjoying this blur effect. And I, I do it too. So yeah, quickly over here checking out the theme engine. Hopefully enjoyed. Have a great day.